born around 1266. Johann Duns, otherwise known as John Duns Scotus, was a philosopher theologian from Scotland. Alongside Thomas Aquinas and William of Ockham, Scotus was a pioneer in the tradition of high scholasticism. Notable for his concepts of hexaity and the university of being, today we are going to be discussing his taxonomy of distinctions. For Scotus, it is only possible to approach an understanding of concepts like individuation or the existence of God if first we have an understanding of the types of distinctions which exist. Scotus presents four key types of distinctions, real, conceptual, formal, and modal. A real distinction between things can only exist if one of the items can exist without the other. For example, my shirt and my body are really distinct because even when I take my shirt off, I'm the same person. A conceptual distinction is mind-dependent, which means it exists solely in the mind and is reliant on human perception. A good example to think about is the difference between the rising and the setting sun. Although they may take place in a different position in the sky, it's the same sun ultimately, so there is not what we call real separability. Between the real and the conceptual distinctions lies what we call a formal distinction. A formal distinction is mind independent, like a real distinction. However, like a conceptual distinction, it does not imply real separability. A good example to think about is the three people of the Holy Trinity. Each individual person represents God, and although they may be different expressions of God, they still all belong to the same substance of God. Finally, a modal distinction, like a formal distinction, does not imply real separability and is mind independent. However, modal distinctions rely on difference in quantity, degree, or intensity of what Scotus might call perfection. Modal distinctions are not distinctions in formal characteristics. They're distinctions purely of quantity. For example, the difference between rosso corsa and maroon are differences purely of the quantity of red present in the color. They are both just shades of red. 